We can use public Wi-Fi or home Wi-Fi to connect the dongle to internet. It becomes very useful uh, in the situation that the cable is not around. You have to rely on Wi-Fi to get internet. So just plug in the cable, uh, the dongle into a computer uh, USB port, for example, to get it powered. And then on the computer, you just connect to the dongle's Wi-Fi. Just find that one uh, and input the password of the dongles. Um, the name and the password are all written on the back of the dongle, so you can take a picture before you do this, uh, just for the convenience purpose. Um, once it starts to connect, um, you just open up the browser and will type in the address, um, which is 192.168.48.1. Uh, that will get you to the admin page of the dongle. If it requires authentication, uh, like to input a password, you just use the same password of the Wi-Fi, uh, the dongle's Wi-Fi. Uh, then just click using uplink Wi-Fi. Uh, the dongle will just scan uh, surrounding hotspot and give you a list of those. Uh, just take the one, uh, uh, pick the one you want to use, uh, like the home Wi-Fi you have. Um, for us, we don't have the password for this Wi-Fi, uh, but in case there's a password, just input it. So the dongle will actually now uh, try to connect to it. Uh, it will take 10, 15 seconds uh, so for it to connect. Uh, once it connected, you can see on the left bottom corner, um, the cloud light start to get on, and then the, uh, the connection light also get on. So the dongle is actually connected to uh, internet and a connect to our cloud as well. It, it is in working state. All four lights are on right now. That's it.